Today we are doing a raw tard day of eating and is the name raw tard truly deserved? Uh, so for those of you guys that don't know, uh, the people that follow the raw primal diet of John is Vonder Planets, you know, they have all these crazy beliefs like eating raw meat can cure autism. It's, it's really ridiculous and yes, there are benefits to a raw diet that we will try to address today, uh, but there's a reason I call them raw tarts. And, and come on, you know I love you guys, but let's take a step back to reality. So lately, I've been eating only raw meat. My sleep has been worse since I started eating raw meat. Usually, I only sleep okay when I eat cooked meat, but um, I've just been craving the raw meat more over the past two weeks. Uh, so if you guys take a look at the day of eatings I did, like three or four weeks ago, I was doing cooked ground beef with a homemade bone broth, and I would have about you know three quarters of a pound to a pound of beef twice a day. I'm doing slightly less meat, about three quarters of a pound twice a day consistently, and I'm doing it completely raw. Uh, so the diet is slightly less inflammatory. My skin's been a little clearer. Uh, my digestion's been better. But uh, I guess let me just show you guys what I've been doing lately. So since I'm still doing this bodybuilding nonsense, my primary goal when I wake up is get my calories. And first thing I do as soon as I wake up, eat as much meat as I can, eat as much honey as I can. So uh, here I just have some pretty lean ground beef from Frankie's Free Range Meat. And lately I've been adding about like a teaspoon to a tablespoon of mustard uh, for every pound of ground beef. I'll throw a little bit of salt and pepper on it as well uh, just to add some flavor. I actually just bought some uh, shallots and I forgot to get some capers uh, that I might try, you know, doing more steak tartare like stuff. Uh, because I'm getting a little bit bored of the mustard, but this is what I've been doing consistently for about three weeks now. Just, you know, raw meat, mustard, a little bit of salt. Uh, we have some raw honey here that I usually just like eat off camera and stuff because, you know, you like eating it over the course of about an hour or so. I mean, this is super simple. All I really do is you know, put on a glove so I don't have to wash my hands too much. So we got the ground beef. Got some salt. I'll take about that much mustard, about a teaspoon. And this really depends on, on what type of mustard you have. Uh, some mustards are much more pungent like this one. Uh, so that might actually be a little too much. Uh, but other mustards you can add a little bit more depending on how much vinegar they added to them. So then I'll take that pinch of salt and I'll put it on the mustard so that when I mix it in, it mixes in pretty well. And that's really it. You know, I'll just you know, use my hands to try to distribute everything as easily as possible. I was using some fish sauce, but the fish sauce kept making me break out with the, the very high histamine content. So we're just sticking to mustard for now. Oh, I did add some horseradish uh, a couple days ago when I ran out of mustard. So horseradish is pretty tasty too. But uh, I'll let you guys know as I continue to experiment with the different steak tartare recipes. If you guys do want a steak tartare recipe, I did one probably a year ago now uh, that you can check out, like all the things you can add to steak tartare. Uh, but that's the bulk of the meal. You guys might have noticed like a bunch of different supplements and powders on my counter. Uh, I am doing a couple different experiments with vitamin C and other stuff. Right now, I'm not taking any supplements besides copper. The only thing I'm doing is taking a corresponding amount of copper uh, depending on the amount of meat I'm eating every day. Since I haven't been sleeping like too well the past week, I stopped all the supplements, but it might just be that, you know, I'm exposing myself to a lot more Wi-Fi and uh, I have a lot more stress going on these past uh, few weeks. So, you know, I was doing magnesium, vitamin K2, some vitamin D3, as well as the uh, the beef testy supplement I have on organ supplements. And I'm probably going to start taking those again because uh, they don't seem to be what was causing uh, the sleeping issues. Uh, so this is it really, the, the meat in the bowl. And uh, right now I'm using just uh, regular copper glyconate supplement. The vitamin C powders, all of that other stuff, maybe I'll make a video sometime in the near future about that. But uh, right now I haven't been uh, using them. This is one pound of ground beef. Usually... I finish about three quarters of a pound, then I save the rest for later. That way, every two days, I go through three pounds of ground beef as opposed to, you know, wasting an extra pound and using four pounds. What I've actually found is if you let this sit out for like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours, 
uh, which goes against all current food safety guidelines. It actually tastes better. Uh, so what I was thinking of even doing was, you know, prepping this the night before and letting it sit out and then having it the next morning. Uh, it's where the, you know, the bacteria count increases more beneficial microbes. And the difference between eating raw ground beef and cooked ground beef is I don't have to drink water. Like this goes down nice and easy, but when you eat the cooked food, you get kind of thirsty. One thing that raw tars always bring up is enzymes without actually understanding what they are. There are enzymes specific to meat, and the purpose of those is to guide the fermentation process, the breakdown of the protein, the fats, and the lactic acid in the meat. The enzymes that are produced by your body for digestion are what break down protein, fat, and carbohydrates. What makes a raw diet easier on the stomach is not the presence of the enzymes in the raw meat, it's that you did not cook and denature the protein. Uh, what's actually also pretty close to a raw diet is if you just lightly poach the meat as opposed to overcooking everything like you do nowadays. The lighter you cook the meat, the less you denature the proteins, the easier those proteins will be broken down by our body's own enzymes. I still haven't done like an in-depth enzyme video or you know, a comparison video of how our stomachs digest raw meat uh, versus cooked meat, uh, but from an anecdotal and practicing standpoint, uh, the body digests raw meat much more efficiently. You know, it takes longer to go through. Your body produces less waste. You feel more energized. Uh, the main purpose of cooking the food is for a lot of plant foods, uh, for certain parts of the animal. You know, this is ground beef. That's why I'm able to eat it raw. You know, some parts of the animal are so tough, um, you know, collagenous that you can't even eat them without cooking. So, you know, my belief is that a big part of cooking was to extract more calories from a carcass as opposed to, you know, cooking every single cut specifically. Cooking and fermentation can kind of go interchangeably in how they, uh, they break down the meat. So since we are eating predominantly protein, you know, you're hoping that your stomach acid is high enough to break down the protein into amino acids, that you have enough pepsin being produced by your body. Because we don't need starch digesting enzymes on a carnivore diet. And if this meat's relatively lean, the amount of bile and lipase that your body needs to produce is relatively low. And since our carbohydrate source is honey, which is pure glucose and fructose. And the glucose is absorbed, you know, doesn't have to be processed. It just absorbs through the intestine. And the fructose is processed by the liver. So from an enzyme perspective, this is pretty much the least inflammatory diet you can follow. When you start incorporating fats and starches, and that's where you have more digestive stress from an enzyme perspective. And this is gonna be the main discrepancy for most people is do you feel better on a raw diet, predominantly leaner meats and honey and fruits? Or do you feel better on a raw diet with, you know, a lot of fat like butter and cream and dairy? This meal is, you know, really just protein, a lot of B vitamins. That's why I take the magnesium, the vitamin K2. I take iodine sometimes too, just to make sure I'm covering all my bases. And of course the copper. But when you eat a large amount of animal protein like this, the amount of things you have to supplement to get complete nutrition from a vitamin and mineral perspective is really minimal. You know, just those things that I've shown you guys I've taken in my recent day of eating videos, you take those, you literally cover all your bases. The only thing I didn't cover really was omega-3s, but you know, the omega-3 requirement for a human is relatively low. And if the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio in your diet is balanced, like it would be eating grass-fed beef, then your body can actually efficiently convert some of the alpha linolenic acid in grass-fed beef into uh, DHA and EPA. So I can finish this, but I'm not going to. I've been trying to reduce my digestive stress lately. So now all I'm gonna do is take the copper supplement, uh, two milligrams, and then I'm going to probably drink a bunch of water with honey in it. If you guys want like specific amount of carbohydrates I'm consuming every day, probably like 350 to 400 grams, which is a, a crap ton of honey. And I'm doing some experimenting with some other carbohydrate sources that uh, I might show you guys in the future, but 
right now anywhere from 300 to 400 grams of sugar worth of honey every day and I try to space it out so with the meal I'm gonna do 100 grams and then in an hour or two I'll do another 100 grams then I'll work out and 100 grams of carbs is about five tablespoons of honey so it's not actually like a lot you know like if you ate a jar of honey that would be well over um, you know 400 grams of carbs so you know it's not exactly something that's unrealistic from a consumption standpoint uh, but from a nature standpoint it kind of is uh, but it's been working for me so far I feel pretty good uh, one thing I did want to tell you guys was when I was experimenting with the vitamin C supplements I felt as good as I was eating raw dairy which is very high in vitamin C so you know if you guys don't have really high quality fresh meat fresh raw dairy uh, you definitely might want to try experimenting with like uh, vitamin C. I think I spoke about this in um, my histamine video and I also spoke about this in my antioxidant video. So I will do a vitamin C video sometime this week or next week. Uh, but until then, you know, acerola cherry powder, camu camu powder, rosehip powder, any of the natural food source powders of vitamin C are, are good to try out. So I'm going to go through most of my day and uh, we'll probably just do, you know, the same exact thing uh, for the meal later. So it's almost 8.30 and I haven't actually worked out yet. Maybe once or twice a week, you know, where things come up and I don't get to work out as early as I want to, I'll actually have my second meal before that later workout. So normally, you know, I eat around 11 a.m. or noon. That's my first meal. Then I'll work out around three or four o'clock and then around five, six or seven, I'll have my second meal. Today, you know, we ate around noon and now I'm going to have my second meal at 8.30 and hopefully I finish my workout before 10 o'clock. So, you know, we're going to eat, then go directly work out. Uh, this meal is actually going to be a little different because uh, I did go to Whole Foods and buy a couple of things I wanted to try for the steak tartare. Uh, so let me show you guys what we're going to have. So I have that small amount of ground beef left over from earlier that we added a little bit of mustard to. Uh, so I bought some capers and some shallots that... I chopped up very finely. These are uh, two very classic steak tartare ingredients. Uh, we're gonna add some more mustard and I'm actually gonna crack in uh, some black pepper as well. So uh, the only thing I'm missing here is some cornichons, some pickles, and I might get some pickles from a local farm to add to this next week. Uh, they just didn't have any pickles that I wanted to buy at the supermarket. We'll take another pound of the ground beef, teaspoon of mustard, maybe a teaspoon of capers, teaspoon of shallot. We're going to crack on some black pepper. And guys, I haven't had anything like this in probably, man, probably since I made that steak tartare video. So this obviously isn't 100% carnivore, but we'll see if I like it. I have a feeling I won't. I usually tend to like uh, just the salt and the pepper. Technically speaking, I don't think all of the ingredients in this are raw. I think the capers and the mustard might be pasteurized, but the mustard may be not pasteurized. The capers, still not sure on those. So the only thing missing in this for a really, really classic steak tartare, uh, sometimes they add some alcohol, some Worcestershire sauce, and of course an egg yolk. Perhaps the cornichons and some chives. Uh, you know, so even though it seems like we're seasoning this a fair bit, uh, classic steak tartare has, you know, a couple more seasonings in it. Round two of uh, raw tart bodybuilding. Yeah. I like it a little more than the mustard. Definitely use an egg yolk. You know what? Let me get the fish sauce. Let's put some fish sauce on it. It's a little better with the fish sauce. This is a thing, like if I wasn't bodybuilding, I wouldn't be eating this right now. Cause I'm not hungry, but I know that you gotta eat a decent amount of protein to maximize muscle growth. It's not that you have to eat when you're full. You don't even have to stuff yourself. You just have to eat when you're not necessarily hungry. I think this would be really good if I let it sit a few hours. So maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna have five more tablespoons of honey. Uh, then I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna take the copper again for this meal. Uh, but that's really gonna be it for today, guys. Just a bunch of raw meat, a bunch of honey. Very simple protein, carbohydrate, fuel for the body. You know, we got some nutrients in. 
you know, I laid out in the sun yesterday, so we got plenty of vitamin D. The only thing missing is vitamin K2, which uh, I do supplement. So if you guys have any more questions, you can definitely check out some past videos I did, like raw versus cooked. I did a video on raw meat safety. And of course, I have many carnivore day of eatings as well as raw carnivore day of eatings that you guys can look up on my channel. Uh, if you guys do have any other questions, definitely leave them down in the comments below. Uh, of course, you guys can get this local grass-fed ground beef at frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You can get some of the supplements that I have at organsupplements.com. I'm working on a couple more to get you guys. And of course, we have Frankie's Naturals as well as frank com for one-on-one -on -one diet consultations. Thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know how you like this if you, you know, want me to talk about some other things and uh, you know go into some other parts of my day or if you guys like it where I keep you know the food stuff uh, separate from the lifestyle vlog stuff. Have a good night guys.